Hello viewers, welcome to your channel Pharmacypedia. This is Dr. Shikha Chauhan and in this session we are going to discuss a topic which is National Health Intervention Program for Mother and Child. This topic has been taken from the Unit 4 of Social and Preventive Pharmacy, BPharm 8 sem So if you have still not subscribed to my channel Pharmacypedia, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel Pharmacypedia for getting further updates and important information related to pharmacy. So, without wasting the time, let us begin the session. As of now, you must have observed this scheme, Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Matritva Abhiyan. So, this is again a scheme for the mother and the child to provide the complete, assured, comprehensive and quality of the antenatal care, free of cost, universally to all the pregnant women on the 9th of every month. So another schemes which became popular and the first scheme launched in the year 2005 known as Janani Suraksha Yojana and uh, Janani Shishu Suraksha Karyakram was launched in 2011. Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Matrati Yojana is started in the year 2016. So it is basically aimed at providing the antenatal care packages to around 3 crore pregnant women on the 9th of every month by a specialist. So here private practitioners will be uh, allowed where enough doctors are not available in the government sectors. Free health checkups are being organized for pregnant women in 14 states under, under the Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Matritva Yojana. And the program will be run parallel to the Janani Suraksha Yojana and Janani Shishu Suraksha Karyakram. So these are the milestone in the mother and child care. So the journey started way back in 1886 where the first establishment was done in the form of training of the local health workers known as DAIS. So followed by the first midwife free act for safe delivery in 1902. So you can see a lot of development, lot of government programs which have launched been time to time with the 1985 you can see universal immunization program. So the ultimate aim was to preserve the mother and child care both uh, by the government set up in the rural areas as well as the urban areas. So when we talk about the healthy future, we have to think about the mother and child care. So with this objective, the government of India launched several programs to protect the health of maternal health as well as the antenatal health, child health. So the government of India adopted the reproductive maternal newborn child and adolescent health framework in the year 2013. So basically it addressed the major causes of mortality and morbidity among the women as well as in the children. So this framework also helps to understand what what are the different delays in accessing and utilizing the healthcare services? So within this framework, comprehensive care was being provided to both women as well as the child across th uh, across five thematic areas. First is the reproductive health development, then maternal health, neonatal health, child health, and the adolescent health. So the program and the strategies which were developed by various divisions were guided by central tenets of equity, universal care, entitlement and accountability to provide the continuum of care, ensuring equal focus on various life strategies. So you can see the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India has launched a new initiative named as Swayam Suraksha Matritva Aswashan. So this is an a uh, program which is aimed to provide assured, dignified and respectful and quality healthcare at no cost and zero tolerance for denial of services for every woman and the newborn who is born in the public health facility centers. So and the uh, main objective is to have all preventable maternal and newborn deaths. If you remember, in the initial years, India was suffering with a lot of mortality and morbidity which were associated with the child as well as the mother. So to have the safe births and to uh, protect the health of the um, uh, pregnant women, so it was decided and various several programs were launched by Ministry of Health and Family Wear time to time to improve and work upon the newborn health. So zero preventable maternal, maternal and newborn deaths and high quality of maternity care was being delivered with dignity and respect. So talking about the national program, national health intervention programs for mother and child. So various data have shown that these programs have worked a long way in the improvement of maternal mortality rate as well as they have reduction in the infant mortality rate. IF, IMR represents the infant mortality rate, MMR represents the maternal mortality ratios. 
so the uh, various targets have been achieved and uh, uh, it the program has been highly successful in reducing down the maternal mortality ratio as well as the infant mortality ratio talking about the various qualities services which are provided under the program so the first is the quality antenatal care so a lot of stress has been laid down on the various quality packages which include the physical and abdominal examinations hemoglobin estimation screening for gastrointestinal diabetes gestational diabetes thyroid disorders hiv syphilis and urine investigation so tetanus immunization and distribution of folic acid and calcium and uh, uh, various uh, multivitamin tablets and counseling for the nutrition is being done at the antenatal care so early detection of high risk pregnancies follow up and management are very important component of antenatal care then next moving on to providing the essential obstetric care during the delivery so the government of india has provided free institutional delivery at its network of health facilities including the sub centers primary health centers community health centers sub district hospitals and district hospitals so the aim is to reduce the maternal and neonatal morbidity and mortality then postnatal care for mother and newborn so ensuring postnatal care within first 24 hours of delivery and subsequent home visits on 3rd 7th 14th and 42nd day is an important component for identification and management of emergencies occurring during the postnatal period so provision of emergency obstetrics and neonatal care at the first referral units fru stands for the first referral units so provision of emergency obstetrics and neonatal care at the first referral unit is being done by the operationalizing all the frus in the country so augmentation of the skilled human resource for the maternal health is required proper trainings are being provided to doctors even the obstetric management skills is being developed out various training training programs in the basic emergency obstetrics care for the medical officers and programs for all the attendants and skilled labor is being improved upon so that to improve the health of the mother as well as the child talking about the referral services at both the community and the institutional level so the government of india has a thrust to establish a network for basic patient care transportation through ambulances with the aim to reach to the beneficiary in rural areas and to provide the quality services in the form of the antenatal care intranatal care postnatal care from primary to the tertiary level of the institutions talking about the various flagship programs under the mother and the child care includes the janani shuraksha yojana which are meant uh, which is a direct uh, promotion conditional cash transfer scheme which was launched in the april 2005 with the objective of reducing the maternal and infant mortality then janani shishu shuraksha karyakram so the government of india has launched janani shishu shuraksha karyakram on 1st june 2011 which entitles all the pregnant women delivering in public health institution to absolutely free and no expense delivery charges including cesarean section then pradhan mantri surakshit matritva abhiyan so carrying forward the vision of our honorable prime minister mr narendra modi the pradhan mantri surakshit matritva abhiyan was launched in the year 2016 to ensure quality antenatal care and high risk pregnancy detections in the pregnant women on 9th of every month then laksha in order to further accelerate decline in the maternal mortality ratio in the coming years it was decided to have the laksha labor room quality improvement initiatives further various programs like comprehensive abortion care services were being provided district level committees were being framed and empowered with accreditation for the facilities for conducting the safe abortion services under the medical termination of pregnancy act including the approval of private and ngo sector facilities for conducting the mtps regular monitoring and evaluation of the services are also being done so provision for rti sti services is being offered to prevent the hiv transmission and to promote the sexual and reproductive health services in all the first referral unit is so village health and nutrition day so village health and nutritional day are being organized at anganwadi centers at least once every month so it is a platform to provide the antenatal postpartum care for the pregnant women promote institutional delivery immunization programs family planning and nutritional counseling 
further newer interventions like midwifery so government of india has initiated midwifery services throughout the country in the year 2018 so the objective is to provide access to the quality maternal and neonatal health services to promote natural birthing to ensure respectful care and to reduce over medicalization the midwifery services initiated aim to create a cadre for the nurse practitioners in the midwifery who are skilled in accordance to the icm competencies knowledge and capable of providing compassionate women centric pregnancy care apart from that maternal death surveillance and response has also been implemented and institutionalized by all the states since 2017 so this database is worked on the guidelines and the tools for conducting the community based maternal death surveillance and response facilities and it provided to all the states the states are reporting deaths along with its analysis for the causes of the deaths maternal near miss reviews also being conducted at premier institutions apart from that rch portal and mct is portal name based tracking of pregnant women and children have been initiated by the government of india as a policy decision to track every pregnant women infant and child up to 5 years of age by name for the provision of timely antenatal care institutional delivery and pnc along with the postnatal care along with the immunization and other related services apart from that mcp card ministry of health and family welfare and ministry of women and child development has been launched as a tool for documenting and monitoring services for antenatal intranatal and postnatal care to pregnant women immunization and growth monitoring of the infants so under this various programs a lot of care and stress has been provided by the government and with the latest schemes into force i am sure that it will go a long way in the improvement of the maternal and the child health thank you so much for watching the video please do like share and subscribe to my channel pharmacy pedia for getting further updates and important information related to pharmacy thank you so much